this scene everybody knows this scene this is the scene where he says luke i am your father no it's i am your father no it's not it's luke i am your father no it's actually i am your father you'll see well no we will see we'll see wait a minute how many times have you seen this film dad loads loads of times well you completely got that wrong but I'm, I'm so sure that he, he always says, Luke, I am your father. He's always said that. Always. I mean, maybe maybe George Lucas has changed it again. George Lucas is always changing things in the Star Wars films. Maybe we should Google it. Right, let's get to the bottom of this. Hang on a minute. The Mandela Effect. What is the Mandela Effect? Mandela Effect is like a strange phenomenon where some people seem to remember certain parts of history happening differently than they actually did. But how is that possible? There are different theories. Now, some people believe it's the mind creating fake memories, whereas other people believe it's alternate timelines and alternate universes merging together to create a new one. But some people remember the old timeline. How do you know about all this? Well, I know a little bit about it because I actually did an episode on the Mandela Effect on the podcast. Where are you? Mandela Effect evidence. Bizarre podcast, the Mandela Effect. What's this? What's all this stuff? Well, let me show you. Now, first out of the box is the board game Monopoly, and it would seem that many believe that Rich Uncle Pennybags, the board game's mascot, has been affected by the Mandela Effect. Now, I've been playing Monopoly ever since I was a child, and I know this game inside and out. Or at least I thought I did. You see, I remember vividly that Rich Uncle Pennybags wore a monocle. But here's the thing, he never did. But myself and lots of other people remember him wearing one. There is a theory that people were getting confused between Mr Peanut, the snack mascot, and Rich Uncle Pennybags. However, I'm not convinced. And next out of the box is the Mandela Effect 2. Does Curious George have a tail? Now, when you were younger, we actually watched Curious George all the time on television. And if I was asked if Curious George had a tail, I would have to say, yes, he does. But I would be wrong. He does not have a tail, no tail at all, which is bizarre. In fact, many people have memories of him swinging through trees with his tail on the TV show and in books, as I'm sure I remember him having one. Next out of the box we have Mandela Effect 3, and this is Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now here's another Mandela Effect that got me good. You see, a lot of people, including me again, remember the evil queen standing in front of her magic mirror and speaking the words, mirror mirror on the wall, who is the furthest of them all. What she did speak was magic mirror on the wall. And would you believe Disney have actually released Snow White merchandise which had the sentence mirror mirror on the wall written all over it? It's funny, isn't it? How Disney also remember it differently. Next out of the box is Mandela Effect number four. Pokemon, Pikachu's tail. Now I'm not a massive Pokemon fan, It was never my cup of tea, so I can't really comment on this Mandela effect. But you see, lots of people remember Pikachu having a black tip at the end of his tail. And I must admit, it does sound right to me, but like I said, I never watched the show, so I can't really comment. But you may be surprised to hear that he does not have a black tip. It's completely yellow. 
Next out of the box is Mandela Effect number 5. Now here we have probably one of the best known Mandela Effects, the Berenstain Bears. Now this Mandela Effect is actually referring to the spelling of the Berenstain Bears. Now many remember Berenstain being spelt the following way. B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. That's Berenstain. But in reality, our reality, it's actually spelt B-E-R-E-N-S-T-A-I-N. Berenstain. These books were read by children worldwide, and most people are convinced it is actually spelt B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. -E this could be put down to kids constantly misspelling the book's title, and that's where the confusion all started. Now, there are plenty more of these. Maybe I'll tell you another time. Wait, there's two more things in that box. What's this? Ah, well, you see, without that book, there would actually be no podcast. You see, this book actually inspired me to start the podcast. If I hadn't have read this book, I don't think Bizarre Podcast would exist today. See, let me show you. This book gave me the inspiration to start a podcast October the 16th, 2018. My God, has it been that long. Bizarre Notes. Ah, oh, well, that's my notebook for the podcast. That's where I jot down all my ideas, including the Mandela Effect. That should be in there as well. What's that? When did you do this? That is actually the first design I did for the podcast logo. And as you can see, it's stuck around. I've come from the future to stuff your podcast from Eberatning, and now I have a date. October the 16th, 2018. I'm going to travel back to that time and erase your podcast from existence. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Jay Taito. You left me all those bad reviews. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Get out of here. October the 16th, 2018. Now I have exactly what I need. <laughs> Say goodbye to your father's podcast. What you're saying makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know anything about a podcast, and I've never heard of the Mandela Effect. Now, if what you're saying is true... It tr is true! If what you're saying is true, then why are you aware of it, and I'm not? I don't know, but I think he has something to do with this. And what's that? Before the time travel vanished, I managed to get this off his arm. I think it protected me from the time change, and this is proof. Okay, what is it? Dad, this is your podcast notebook. See, and this is the very first logo you drew. I've never seen this. But Dad, just read the book. It has your handwriting. It does look like my handwriting, but... So, Phoebe, I think you're being silly. But no, I'm not. Oh, you think I'm being silly? Then how do you explain this? Well, this just looks like something wrapped in tinfoil. What is this thing, anyway? I think it's a time machine. A time machine? 
All right, I've had enough of this. Dad, stop! I'm telling you, Feeding. it's a time machine. Phoebe, there's a dinosaur in our kitchen. Do you believe me now? So everything you said is true. This time traveller went back to 2018 and changed everything about me. And who knows what else? Don't worry, Dad. I'm going to go back to 2018 and fix everything. Okay, I think I figured out how this thing works. You push that button. Really? Okay, so you're going to travel back to 2018 and you're going to find out how this time traveller erased the podcast and who knows what else. Yeah. Remember, you can't tell me too much about my own future. Why? Have you never seen Back to the Future? Time travel rules. Okay. Here's your time machine. Thank you. These bizarre notes, they might come in handy for something. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Peace. And I'll see you in the future. All the past. Right. Okay. But what was that? What? I don't know, I just thought I heard something. Okay. Good luck. Bye. Okay, you can come out now. Hi. Hi. Oh, the Mandela effect. What's what this is about. What's going on? Baby? Dad, What are you doing here? I said you to school. Dad, you got my bag! Bye! Dad, we need to talk. So you're from the future? Yep. And this is a time machine? Yes. And why are you here then? I can't tell you that. Back to the future rules? Yes. Got you. Here, read this. Why? I can't tell you why, just trust me, read it. Okay. Mike the Headless Chicken. Oh, not that one, Dad. If you don't find the right page, this one. The Mandela Effect? Yeah. Okay. Back in 2010, self-described paranormal consultant Fiona Broom came up with the term the Mandela Effect. You see, she believed that Nelson Mandela had died in the 1980s whilst in jail. 
She had strong memories of this, and to back up her theory, she claimed thousands of other people shared this false memory. In fact, Nelson Mandela was released from prison and went on to be the president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999, and eventually he did die in 2013. Here are some more examples of the Mandela effect. The Mona Lisa smile. There are so many people who claim that they remember the Leonardo da Vinci portrait of Mona Lisa having a more eye-catching, prominent smile, a bigger smile. Flintstones has two T's. Most people remember the Flintstones being spelt with only one T. For example, F-L-I-N-S-T-O-N-E-S, -E when in fact it's spelled F-L-I-N-T-S-T-O-N-E-S. I must admit, the latter is how I remember it. Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. Is actually not what Forrest Gump said in the movie. He says life was like a box of chocolates. And I must admit, I actually remember it as life is like a box of chocolates. Like a box of chocolates. Here's another movie line people seem to remember differently. It was spoken in Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings. Deep in the mines of Moria, Gandalf fights the Balrog. But just before he falls, we hear him say, Fly, you fools. But many people remember him actually saying, Run, you fools. The US States. Now we all know that there is 50 states, but some swear that they remember learning at school that there were 51 states. Some even swear that there were 52. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong died in 2012. Oddly, a lot of people say they have absolutely no memory of this ever happening. And I must admit, I am one of these people. Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze sadly died of cancer way back in September 2009. But so many people seem to remember Patrick making a full recovery and beating cancer. Kit Kat. Now we have a few food lines that have been affected by the Mandela Effect. Many people remember the Kit Kat chocolate biscuit bar having a hyphen between Kit and Cat. But no, nope, it never did. Jif peanut butter. The peanut butter Jif is believed to be affected by the Mandela Effect. Many remember it being called Jiffy, not Jif, but some believe there's confusion between the rival peanut butter Skippy and people may just be combining the words Jif and Skippy together to get Jiffy. Looney Tunes Apparently, Looney Tunes has been affected by the Mandela Effect. You see, lots of people remember tunes being spelt T-O-O-N-S, tunes. But it never was. It has always been spelt T-U-N-E-S, tunes. Apparently, the reason for this spelling is because the cartoon ran with musical compositions inspired by Walt Disney cartoons. Why is it that some people don't remember this? And next we have Shazam. And here is a very popular Mandela effect that has took the internet by storm. So many people recall seeing a movie in the early 90s starring Sinbad, which was called Shazam. But here is the thing. There never was a movie starring Sinbad called Shazam. But there was a movie that most have no memory of whatsoever that was actually called Kazam, which starred Shaquille O'Neal. And here is a funny thing about this one. Sinbad has actually heard of this Mandela effect and he took it upon himself to create a fake trailer for the movie that never existed. And you can find that on YouTube right now. Go and look for it. You know what? That was really, really interesting. More people should know about this. You're messing with everything up! No, you! Get Daddy, out of me! No, don't! Ah. You never learn, does he? You messed with my sons for the last time! No. Give me that! So long, losers. No. Get off.
Who was that? And where did he go? Hopefully someone not nice and you'll find out in two years. What's happening? Dad is sending me back. Uh. Good luck. I'll see you okay. in the future. What was that? Right. What? Bye. Okay, you can come out now. You forgot this. But did it work? Did I change everything back? Well. Oh, I figured. What the hell?